Hanukkah seems to always have a lot of symbolism attached to it. Somehow it seems every generation of Jews has managed to interpret the Maccabeus' victory over the Greeks in a different way. We went to find out what the holiday means to Israelis in 2013. Jeffrey Wolf of the Talmud department at Bar Ilan University explains that Hanukkah is above all a celebration of the Jewish triumph against the persecution. Hanukkah symbolizes the miraculous dimension of Jewish history that by all the rules of history we shouldn't be here. Everybody else disappeared, everybody else uh, assimilated and, uh, and left the uh, historical uh, stage. And uh, Jews are still here and they're still back in their country. So there's a sense of, of God working behind the scenes, which is one of the themes of Hanukkah too, because Hanukkah, if you look at it, is the story of a guerrilla, successful guerrilla warfare. And you could describe it that way, and plenty of historians do describe it that way. But the reason why Hanukkah has religious significance is because Jewish tradition saw something deeper and more profound and divine uh, in, the, uh, in the stories. It seems many Israelis relate to Hanukkah today more as the first independence holiday of the Jews, being the Maccabees ruled over this land for over 200 years. Hanukkah is a more national uh, holiday than religious holiday, although there are uh, religious rules to the holiday, but uh, it's common to all Israelis because uh, we celebrate in fact, uh, the beginning of 200 years of uh, Jewish sovereignty in Israel after uh, fighting against the Greeks and uh, expelling them out of Israel. Therefore, it's more like the first independent uh, holiday day of the Israelis. Avigail Landsbacher leads a group of Orthodox Jews who have taken upon themselves the task to become close and understand better the secular Jews. The organization has built a huge menorah at the port of Tel Aviv with thousands of lights inside and every time another Orthodox family hosts a secular family for candle lighting, the lights on the menorah will get bigger and brighter. In the past, the lighting of the Hanukkah was inside the houses and each family individually. And um, now we're, we want to show that the, the, the families will get together and the light will be much bigger if it's going to be done together. As Jews, will, it will, will make the light bigger by making the Jews closer to each other and loving each other, understanding each other, knowing each other. It seems Hanukkah is also very unique because it was the first holiday in the Jewish calendar that was created because of an historical event in the life of the Jews. It's the first holiday with religious sanction that's not mentioned in the Bible. The idea that you could do that without a prophet, there were no prophets. In fact, if you read the book of Maccabees, one of the themes there is we're doing this until there's a prophet. We're doing this until there's a prophet. Because, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, it's like Judaism was, it's like when I last learned to ride a bike. My father, may he rest in peace, kept his hand on the, on, on the, on the seat, and then he let me go, and all of a sudden I look around and, you know, ah, I'm on my own. This is something similar happened over here. Now all of a sudden there's no more prophets. And a great miracle happens. There's no prophets to tell them. And the rabbis and the religious leadership, led by Mathathias, have to come to a decision. Do we have the responsibility? Can we take the initiative and create a holiday on our own? Do we have that right? And they decided yes. Hanukkah is undoubtedly one of the funnest Jewish holidays. Just don't forget all the calories while eating all the traditional food soaked in oil. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson in Tel Aviv, wishing all our viewers around the world happy Hanukkah.